Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the 10 sexiest glamours in Final Fantasy XIV. Whether you're looking to catch the eye of that strapping young lad down the street, or just revel in the fantasy of eating cake without getting fat, a sexy outfit can arouse attention and make the most of your limited assets. Number 10. The Minfilia Outfit I am hatefully adding this outfit to the list because of the way the boobs pop out of the top like a bubblegum bubble and they're bright pink so your eyes are drawn to them and more importantly the butt window number nine the thavnerian outfit some of y'all might be rolling your eyes at this one because it is so overdone we've seen it a million times because it's cheap and easy to get but i put it on the list because if you put all that aside it is pretty and because of its popularity, it's probably the first sexy glamour that a lot of new players see. I remember being starstruck the first time that I saw it, and it started me on my glamour journey. So it's the gateway drug of glamours. Number eight, the hempen set. The Miko version of the hempen set is not very good, but it does include the pantalettes, which is part of my favorite round the house set. The higher female version of the hempen camise is probably the most scandalous glamour in the game. Here's some NPCs wearing it, and I don't want to be that guy, but I would be nervous as hell if I were wearing that bra, because unless your nipples are leaking out super glue, <laughs> Wow, that is gross, that's unnecessary. Unless you have st sticky nipples, <laughs> that's not better. It's not gonna stay up, is the point. Let's move on. Number seven, Cotees. I'm lumping all the shirts that look like this into the same category. So this includes everything from the Manderville top to the moth-eaten Cotees. If you've leveled a crafter or gatherer, you know it as the first thing you could wear that didn't look like a potato sack. Unless you're a Lollafell, in which case all your stuff looks like that. The best version of this is part of the Halloween witch's costume. It's sexy, but in a classy way. It makes you look like you have your stuff together. You know, like you're pushing up the social ladder. Number six, the Coliseum gear from Zemiel Darkhold and its replicas. I love the Steel Galeris, even though it looks like a chastity bra, because it projects strength, but is still sexy. And before you say, Plate katies aren't practical. Let me point out that I'm a cat. So realism is out the window. It's out the butt window. <laughs> and this is the top 10 sexiest glams, not the top 10 most functional realistic glams. So not today. The other is the Coliseum shawl or the Tafeta shawl. I kind of don't like this one as much because it's similar to what the dancers wear in Old Dog and in the goblet. The way they're shown is kind of degrading with these guys like shake it ladies and the other one's like if it's gill you want stick your hands in my pocket it's like that's gross and while i feel for them and i don't like the way they're being treated i don't want to put on their uniform and sign up for the same treatment you know what i'm saying am i overthinking this maybe they're making money i don't know like maybe that's why there's a hood on this thing when your customers make it rain you're ready number five all the swimsuits. I put all the swimsuits into this category because every Moonfire Festival, we get a new sexy swimsuit and there's a lot of them. There's the Southern Sea swimsuits, the Fair swimsuits, and my favorite, which is this year's Endless Summer swimsuits. Um, slightly off topic, we also got these sunglasses this year and they're pretty spectacular. Number four, Shisui. Yes, I know that the fair swimsuits are similar to Shisui, but they're not exactly the same. Uh, the Shisui gear is more like adventuring gear, less like swimsuits. I think it's better. It also includes a pretty flower that will make you look like you won first prize at the state fair. Number three, bunny suit. When they announced that boys could wear the bunny suit, I was overjoyed. I actually wrote a song about it that I never played on YouTube because the audio is cursed. Bun, 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 bun. The only problem with it is how weird the bunny butt tuft looks on my tail. It looks like I sat on a moogle. The Flame Elite's loincloth. This is one of the sexiest glamours in the game. And for both boys and girls, it shows a fair bit of side butt. The cutouts are really pretty. Sadly, it comes at the impossibly steep price of switching to immortal flames. That is 
a no-go for me. <laughs> That's tempting, but the wood's will won't be doing itself. Number one, the Emperor's new gear. The sexiest you can be is naked, and the Emperor's gear just removes your clothes so you can run around in your pants too. Y'all, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be kind of a troll, number one. You won't feel sexy just because you took your clothes off. You gotta get drunk first, which is why you should always keep a flask on you. Lucky for you, our real number one usually comes with booze equipped. Loosen up, let it all hang out in one of these sexy pirate shirts. Still not convinced? Let these ladies demonstrate that it's not all about coochie cutters and butt windows. Glamour is an attitude. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by wearing a sexy bunny costume or by clicking that subscribe button or by sharing this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.